Hey everybody, I'm Danny Pudi and I play Teddy on your favorite DC comedy, Powerless. And I'm Ron Funches. I play Ron, also on Powerless. We're here to bring you this week's Versus, which features my favorite superhero, Elongated Man, going up against a guy who would fit right in with us at Wayne Security, Blue Beetle. Say his name right! Blue Beetle. That's it. In one corner, we got my man Ted Cord, a tech genius and engineer. He transformed Cord Industries into one of the leading R&D companies in the world. And in his spare time, or when he's not busy, he's saving the world from certain doom as Blue Beetle, so you don't have a chance. In the other corner is Ralph Dibney, a man who turned a childhood infatuation with contortionism, not weird, into a lifelong career as the impossibly flexible, elongated man. Well, Blue Beetle holds multiple college degrees and trained himself to his physical peak. He's also capable of brilliant sleuthing, like when he single-handedly exposed Maxwell Lord's evil plan for Checkmate in 2005's Countdown to Infinite Crisis Number 1. And he may not have superpowers, but he's one of the most acrobatic motherfuckers you can imagine. If we're talking about agility, mother Blue Beetle doesn't even rank on elongated man's scale. Ralph's superhuman bendability allows him to stretch his limbs and body in ways that boggle the mind. He could also use his powers to give himself super strength, like a superhero hybrid of Arnold Schwarzenegger, pre-celebrity apprentice, and a bendy straw. Okay, okay, well I'll remember to bring him if I'm too far away from a soda. Well, can a rubber band man withstand the cutting edge arsenal that Blue Beetle is packing? <laughs> I laugh because I doubt it. First of all, he's got the BB gun, which can produce blinding flashes of light and blasts of compressed air powerful enough to knock an entire football team off its feet. But his most powerful weapon, oh, you thought that was it? It's not. It's the bug, a beetle-shaped command center that flies and can even go underwater. It's pimped out with claws, magnets, blasters, defensive shields. The only thing missing is a subwoofer, and we thinking about getting that at it. Might drop the top on it. Oh, gadgets, they're cute. But elongated man don't need no toys. He's resistant to puncture wounds and physical blows that would kill ordinary humans. Ralph is also one of the world's most brilliant detectives, which makes him just as awesome as Batman. In 2007's 52, number 42, he outsmarted Felix Faust and the demon Neron, even in death. Did you hear that? Even in death, the man died and he still won. He Jesus. All right, well, if Blue Beetle's strength is his brain, then his weakness is his heart. Ted has a heart condition, okay? And it makes him prone to cardiac arrest in extreme conditions. But if BB can avoid having a heart attack, he will turn elongated man into a pile of rubber. He's basically Fred Sanford. Well, good luck with that. We all know heart disease is the number one killer. Elongated man's powers are formidable, but he can only maintain them if he drinks gin gold. Assuming Ralph is fully stocked with that bendy juice, he squashes Blue Beetle like the insect he is. The stage is set for Blue Beetle versus Elongated Man. Which hero will emerge the ultimate champion? Okay, everybody, weigh in on the poll right up there and then battle it out in the comments. Mm -hmm. Elongated Man, Elongated no. Man, Elongated Man. Blue Beetle just saying elongated the same word over and over again does not make it into argument. Elongated Man, Elongated Man, it makes you feel Ooh, calm. It sounds like a he's cool mantra that you would do with yoga. He's got a stable marriage. With Elongated right, Man, calm, that's probably all he's good for is yoga poses. Don't you want that? Probably got a good downward dog. Yoga's good for your body.